Hey all, welcome to Forest County, Pennsylvania and Forest County Outback Channel, combining history with the outdoors. Today, we're going underground. Now this area is not noted for its underground features. While we have a lot of rock shelters, we don't have that many caves. Personally, I only know of two that I would actually call a cave. But there is a man-made underground structure. We're gonna go look at that it is one of the coolest things I have stumbled across in my uh, adventures out here. So this is Forest County Outback 28, the underground chamber. I thought I was in better shape than this. All right, but we're getting there. So we're at the site of the chamber. This pile of stones is a vent here, and then the entrance is down here. And that little hole is where we're going. Let's give you some idea of the setting here. Now we're out in deep woods. And keep in mind that this wasn't always the case. This is what it looks like today. Uh, back in the 1800s, the things around here were a lot different. Now this chamber was the subject of a television program about 10 or 12 years ago. And I'm actually going to reference that program because I know there are people who are going to watch this who have seen that program. And they did a lot of speculation about the origins of this, who built it, and the purpose in that. And in my opinion, they were really reading a lot into this that just isn't there. And I will eventually get to my own conclusions. Now that entrance leads onto a passageway, which if you look at these big stones out here, you'll see it used to be quite a bit, bit longer. It looks like it came out to this area right here. Another good, I don't know, 10, 15 feet than what it is today. But anyhow, let's uh, let's go inside and take a look. See this passageway? You 
pass these winthel stones across here. Check out the stonework. Absolutely beautiful. And then we get into here, into the main chamber. You got a basin here. arch ceiling these keystones are neat and then the spring is back up in air comes out of that little notch and it usually flows has been dry it's usually flowing pretty good and it's just so cool it comes down through I got this little S bend into this chamber this basin is really Interesting. And there's the vent, which is closed up, has some debris in it. Now, if you knew about mortar, you could probably get an get a uh, approximate age on this. Now this, when you look at them, you almost think they're concrete, but you look here, see, they have a rough surface out here, and you can see the, the uh, tool marks in the stone. That is just, that is absolutely fantastic uh, stonework. Just beautiful. And you got a couple little shells over there. It's like natural stone air. Okay, natural stone back here. And then we've got the. Uh, okay, now it looks okay. There's. It looks like there's some kind of carving here, but it, it, it can't read it. Some kind of inscription. And it looks like this might be. So it almost looks like this might be a date over here. Yeah, that is. It is. That's that's lettering. It looks like a date. We'll try a little bit of water on it. Maybe we can figure it out what it says.
Now, getting back to the uh, TV program I mentioned earlier, I, I do want to address that because there are people who are going to watch this video who've seen that program. Now, they speculated on who built this and what the purpose was. And I, I got to disagree with their conclusions. They were reading a lot into this that just the evidence just isn't here for it. And, uh, you know, they, their conclusions, in my opinion, were just totally off the wall. They speculated that it was built by either 6th century Irish monks, the Knights Templar, or Freemasons. And that it was used for ritual purposes, that the basin in there was used for a bathing ritual. Uh, no, I, I, I can't agree with any of that. I have a couple of my own theories, and my actual, my favorite one is that this was built by ancient Elvis. Okay, I really don't believe that either, but, you know, it'd, it'd be cool if it was. No, this, uh, <clears throat> my earth-shaking, history-changing conclusion on this is, have you ever heard of a spring house? Okay, that's what this is. Now, today, we are in an isolated, heavily wooded area. In the 1800s, this was not so. On the mountaintop above here, there was a farm that this would have probably been part of. And that farm shows up on, li on the LiDAR images. I, I couldn't bring them. My printer pooped out on me. I have an a, a 1939 aerial photo with a farm. It has since been abandoned and grown over. And I have heard, but I haven't been able to confirm that the guy who cleared that for him, established it, was indeed a stonemason. Now in the valley down below here, there, have, there has been a settlement dating back to at least the 1840s, maybe earlier. And in 1854, there was a stone blast furnace built down there. So there would have been masons, stonemasons, working and living in, in the immediate vicinity. And this place, for a person living in the 1800s, this place was within e easy walking distance of either the farm or the village down below. Okay, I mean, I know people today that won't walk 50 yards to go check their mail. They got to take the side by side. Back then, it was different. And the. Uh, there was also in the 1870s and 80s, there was a hotel down in the valley here that actually catered to uh, oil men, mainly out of uh, from Oil City who needed to get away for a while and relax. And this hotel supposedly had a number of attractive young female hostesses to help them relax. And it was renowned for that and for the food. So, yeah, they, you know, they would have needed something like this. Now, whether they actually use this one or not, don't know. Uh, as far as that basin in there being used for bathing rituals, uh, it would have been filled with crocs, with butter and milk and things like that that they wanted to keep cold. Okay? And, uh, you know, yeah, this, the, the, the conclusions that they came to are just, just, in my opinion, uh, totally unrealistic. Uh, this, this, you look at this, this is a spring house. And uh, like I said, in, it's, in the 1800s, it was not as isolated as it is today. Now, one thing he did say, and I agree with that the People who built this were extremely talented stonemasons. That this is some of the most beautiful stonework I've ever seen. And also down in the valley, there there was also a lot of stonework down there besides the furnace. There are several cellar holes. There are some retaining walls. 
uh, still in place and all the stonework down there is top notch. So I could see, you know, it, 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 the same level of, of, of ability in the stonework in the valley and in this spring house. So now there is also <clears throat> a, uh, uh, what do they call it? A solar feature to this. Now we're actually here, this is the summer solstice. And on the summer solstice, when the sun hits the horizon over here, it will shine right down this this passageway and illuminate the back of the of the chamber. And we're gonna wait around for that. Hopefully the clouds are coming and going. Hopefully we'll have sun when or have clear sky when the sun hits the horizon and we'll be able to film that phenomenon. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know here folks this ain't looking good it clouded up and we might get a little blast when it hits the horizon so a few more minutes and I guess if not well, we'll have to try again next year Okay, sad to say, folks, we're not going to get the sun here. It's a shame. It was sunny all day till the last hour or so. When the sun hits the horizon, it comes right back this tunnel. And it illuminates this pole and that little, I guess you call it a grotto back there. And uh, yeah, sorry it didn't work out. Talking about it is not the same as seeing it. Maybe next year I can do an update. You know, somebody asked me about how they could have gotten these so smooth with hand tools. And, uh, you know, you work with this stuff every day, you learn tricks that nobody, today, especially today, we can't even conceive of. We'll take one last look around. Now, the solar alignment I think it was accidental and just where the spring was and where the ravine was it just happened to line up but this is where you know there's other springs along the hill but this is the best the best one the most reliable one and i think it just happened to be that it, uh, it happened to line up with the sun like that and uh you know the Bob Ross moment was a happy accident. Don't read too much into it. Okay, I guess that's it. Uh, 
Now that stone looks a little shaky, but I'll tell you what, it hasn't moved in 15 years. <laughs> so hopefully tonight will not be, the, today will not be the day. Okay, I think I'm getting old and gimpy. Hey, uh, I came back to do some additional video here and I actually brought a cameraman this time. This is June 25th, a couple days after we were here first. And we had a nice sunny day. We thought we could get the uh, light coming back here, but it clouded up again in the last hour. So, but anyhow, a couple things I wanted to point out. On this stone here, there are definitely carvings here. Now, we can't read any of them. So I got to think that these carvings were done later uh, because given the quality of the work here, if, if the people who built this had done carvings, they'd have been done right. This is just, this is these carvings are amateur stuff. Here, see, there's another one. That's something over here. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, there, there's you, none of them. You can't read any of them, but there are several here. And then on this lintel stone over here, is, is you, if you really look, there's a whole bunch more. And of course, none of them are legible. And then we got something over here, some kind of carving here. We don't know what it is. But, uh, okay, something uh, actually my son came up with, pointed out here, and I, I hadn't thought of it. This hole down here, uh, it's very likely that that was for a pipe. And they could have carried a pipe, ran that pipe all the way down the hill, down, down, to, the, uh, down to the village. And I hadn't, I, I really hadn't thought of that at the time, but uh, yeah. Yeah, points to him for figuring, for noticing that and uh, coming up with the idea. And uh, yeah, these stones here around, around the basin, we talked about it, thought maybe they had been sawn, because they had stone saws at some point. But no, there's, there are definite tool marks in this. Somebody, somebody worked on this with, with, a, with a chisel and somehow and polished it however they did it. So, and, you know, in that, in that TV program, they talked about using this for, uh, for bathing. <laughs> this is like, <laughs> no. <laughs> that, would, that would pucker you up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. So yeah, we picked up a few a uh, few additional things, but this this hole in the basin that was kind of you wondered about that, but then uh, yeah, once Levi stated that, it was like yeah, that's pretty obvious. That was that was a pipe. They piped water out of here. So. Anything, did we miss anything else new here? But uh, as you can see, they had some kind of uh, plaster over the, over the stonework. And uh, a lot of it's fallen off. Okay. I guess I don't know. Can you think of anything else? Not that I can think of. Yeah. Um, yeah, we missed the sun again. Um, so I don't know. I guess. 
there, there's a, there's, on either side of the solstice, there's about a week where the sun kind of doesn't move too much. And, uh, but I, with the four, long range forecast, it's supposed to rain next several days. And, uh, yeah, I don't think we're going to catch it this year. We'll just have to do an update, hopefully, next year on it. Okay, so I don't know, I guess that's it. camera here. It's still on? Yep. Okay. Hey Rachel. Yeah, you wanna get ya? Yeah, Come yeah, out. get us coming out. The the camera's still on. Okay. How do I press play? It's on. It's on. Oh it's on? Just, just got on. just gotta Okay. Get us get back far enough you can get a good view of the opening. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you wanna wanna film us for a second? Oh, sorry. <laughs> All right, so I guess that's it for uh, Outback Twenty Eight, the underground chamber. If you liked what you what you saw, hit the like button, comment, share, uh, and we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching. All right. It's hot and I just got bit up the whole time you guys were in there. Really? Oh, it's awful. Oh, so